today is the day we're checking out the Lear Theater. A lot of mystery inside this building. We're gonna see what it looks like and explore it in depth. Just behind me is the Lear Theater, which finished construction in 1939. It was designed by Paul Revere Williams. And today I have the opportunity to go inside and have an in-depth look. Moya Lear was inspired to purchase the church building. Now the building itself has sat largely vacant for the better part of 20 years. We're gonna go inside and see what the interior looks like. I wonder what mysteries are inside the Lear Theater. I'm sure there was a million different stories told inside those walls. Today, we're gonna to start telling a new story. We walked into the ground floor of the Lear, into the theater portion of the Lear. We got to see what the theater would have looked like in 1939, and for the past almost 100 years, what this theater and former church looked like. So we checked out what the ground floor seating looked like. What the lobby, look like in the offices. A lot of the bathrooms are still intact. Went up to the balcony and saw the overview of what the stage looked like. Between 1870 and 1950, downtown Reno had a total of 24 churches. The first Church of Christ Scientist, which began with a congregation of just four members, was one of those churches. After we explored everything on the ground level and above, we went down into the bowels of the building, into the basement of the theater, where a lot of construction and renovation has been done to support the building for future generations and build up and correct some of the seismic issues uh, that have been present in the building for many years. We explored the ground floor, we explored the basement, and all of the interesting rooms. In the late 1930s, the congregation sought an architect to build them a new church, and Luella Garvey recommended legendary African-American architect Paul Revere Williams for the project. Williams, also known as the architect to the stars, first achieved fame in Los Angeles during the golden age of Hollywood. Anna Franson Loomis served as the chairperson of the building committee. Located on the Truckee River, the church was designed in the neoclassical revival style. Some of the architectural details include the columns you see out front and a double curved portico, the covered area out front with the opposing curved stairs. The main auditorium could hold up to 600 individuals and was designed to function as a community center. There were separate rooms for readings, singing, and even a caretaker's apartment. The entire construction, including furnishing, cost $140,000. Now, adjusted for inflation, that's nearly $3 million. The building was used to hold church services from its completion on October 22, 1939, until the congregation built a new church and moved in 1998. Moya Lear purchased and then donated the building in 1998. There have been attempts to jumpstart the building several times. The doors were closed in 2002 and it has remained largely unused since. We did a deep dive on the theater today and took you all around the building from the balcony to the theater level of the building all the way into the basement and everywhere in between. You got to see everything inside of the Lear. We really got to uncover a building that has largely remained a secret for many, many years. We really got to show you a lot of what's inside this building, a lot of which the public just hasn't been able to see. Really hope you enjoyed this interesting dive into this building, into the Lear, some of its history, and I hope one day it's open and we can all be there in person.